Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbit Tree Center. Today I wanted to talk, can you please not on the audio? Today I wanted to talk about how do you get your rabbits back into the rabbit cage if it gets out, if it's running around your property, what you may expect, where you may find it, and a really simple way to get it back uh, into the cage. Also, if you stay with us to the end, I wanted to talk about the first time I ever tried rabbit liver. And, you know, I never tried rabbit liver because uh, I wasn't a fan of other livers and they always t tasted, um, well, well, livery. And uh, rabbit liver is just delicious. And I wanted to talk about how I prepare it because the only thing I could ever find was pate recipes. And so we'll talk about that if you stay with us to the end of the video. Here we go. Okay, first let's talk about how rabbits get out of the cage. Okay, so say your rabbits are running around the cage when they're smaller, if you don't keep the water bowls filled, these water bowls, they can actually get in the water bowl, crawl out, and, and fall, and then they're gonna just start running around the property. They're easy prey for hawks. They don't know what to do with freedom. We want to get those rabbits back into the cage as soon as possible, so it's important to you'll always try to have a schedule where you're checking on your rabbitry, especially when you're talking about outdoor uh, rabbitries or pens, uh, you know, a couple times a day. Look at so I want you to take a look at this hardware cloth, the zip tied, you can use J-clips if you don't have zip ties, but this is a really important addition because what happens when the water gets too low, sometimes when they drink all the, the water, if you weren't able to get back fast enough to get the water filled, the, the kits, the small rabbits will jump into this tray, they'll crawl out and they'll fall down. So it's a 40 inch drop, there's a lot of hay and manure down here so it's kind of a soft landing, but you don't want your rabbits running around, so this little piece will prevent that. Uh, they'll hit this little fence wire and they'll be less likely to squeeze under. They still can because you don't really want this too low where you can't get your tray in here because what all you have to do is just pull it through but it's tough to get it just like that we're about to change all the water so but it's tough to get the tray back in there if it's too low so this is just a piece that I really recommend it's gonna prevent your kits from getting out a little bit of there there we go this is one of the areas that we found them once was just in this cornered area kind of like what this chickens doing this chicken some of the fence went down last night so one of our chickens are out. As of right now, I'm not gonna herd her back into the, the pen or try to catch her. Uh, we'll, we'll just let her roam around on this rainy little Sunday. So. I like Roxy. So this is where we park our John Deere. Over the years, we found a rabbit under this lean-to. They don't really have very good survival skills, but they are nervous by nature and they have instincts to get under cover to stay dry to to hide um, and this is this will provide that so, so be sure to check all your lean tos your awnings your sheds anywhere where there's a access or a cavity where they can crawl under get out of the elements and hide uh, that's a great area to find your rabbits you know in the morning when you're feeding your rabbits be sure to head over to these areas and just check you may see a little bunny sitting right there so a terrific tool to catch your rabbit is a telescoping fishnet. This fishnet is, you just, it's spring loaded, you pull back on this, the arms swing out, if I can do it. Okay, I got it, I couldn't, I couldn't get it for a second. So it's spring loaded, okay, so you pull back on this and these arms drop and it, it collapses into this nice little storage area. This net has to be all the way back for those arms to swing back in and that's why I couldn't get it, okay. So, and then plus these have compression rings that you can extend it out. So you can buy different nets. Uh, some are eight feet, some are 10 feet, but this, this has some serious distance to it. How I use this net is I usually keep it close to my body. Um, I'll even grab the net so everything's nice and tight and I'll walk towards the rabbit and say that that golf ball basket is the rabbit. I will, when the rabbit's looking the other way, I'll just take the net and I'll drop it right over the rabbit and the rabbit is now uh, captured and I can just walk over to it and just pin the rabbit a little bit, move the net over. And how I do it is I just push down on the rabbit and I'll grab my rabbit and head back to the cage. Sometimes it takes a couple days to catch them, you know, but that's one way that I catch the rabbit. I'll show you another way. So how this works is the rabbit comes in and it touches this little as soon as it puts a little bit of weight, just we're talking very little weight, the door falls down. 
getting the rabbits inside. So what I'll do is I'll put some food right in this area. And again, it's super simple. It's all spring loaded. This is a really nice cage because the rabbit's not gonna get injured. Just this little lever right here pops this up. And again, all it takes is just a little bit of pressure. And as soon as they push down on this platform, it's connected to a wire that will release the, the latch and the door shuts. And this is a great way to get your rabbit back. If your rabbit gets out, you know, just rest assured that it will stay close and will come back. Um, you know, it, it's important to try to get your rabbit back in the cage as soon as possible because of the reasons that we, we discussed. And they're just really not as comfortable out of the cage. Uh, they just don't know what to do. So they still have instincts, but they're just not good at knowing what is dangerous, what isn't. We use this trap more for catching rabbits than we do for anything else. And it's a terrific tool. That fishing net that I was talking about, it's nice and big, it's light. That's a great tool too. So I'll link all this stuff down in, in the description below. If you guys know of any tool that is helpful, please leave the comments down below and share. Really appreciate anybody who takes the time to do that. It's starting to rain, so now we're gonna head into the kitchen and we'll get out of this weather and we'll show you how we prepare our rabbit liver. Here we go. Very good. 